What's going on YouTube? So do you have one of these? No, not a box. The Apple Watch Series 4. The new ECG update came out today, 5.1.2. Let's take a look at it. Welcome to non-tech, tech reviews with Don. I'm not an expert, I just use the stuff. What's going on YouTube? Yeah, I know, it's been a while, but I had to let my beard grow out. You know, November, no shave. What? Ne never mind. But today we're talking about the Apple Watch 4's latest update to 5.1.2. The ECG update. Finally, it's here. Apple Watches came out back in September, and now it's December 6th, and the update finally gets released for something we should have had when it was released originally, back in September. Never mind. That's Apple. They take their time. So this ECG app is supposed to catch like irregularities with your heartbeat. But how well does it work? So basically, you just simply put the watch on, Duh. you open the app, and when it says ready, you go ahead and put your finger on the crown. And that's how it takes the ECG. Okay, turn on the watch. You find the app down here, and you tap it again, there you go. And dismiss anything that's in there. Then when the pretty heart comes up, you go ahead and put your finger on the crown. And you get inconclusive. That's all I've been getting is inconclusive. Every test so far, inconclusive. Why? Why? Try different bands, the rubber band, the Milanese loop, this magnetic thing. Got, got, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So does it work? I'm not sure. Like you saw, all my results came up inconclusive. So is there something wrong with my heart? The watch? My skin? I have no idea. Maybe I'm just too big for it to pick up my heartbeat. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. Is this a feature you'll use on your Apple Watch 4? And did it work for you? Or did it come up inconclusive like all my results? Well again, thanks for watching. My name's Don. I'm gonna take 500 more of these and maybe I won't get it inconclusive this time.